There's a, a significant cavity on this tree and it goes down there pretty deep. As you can see there's, there's a lot of, it's almost like high-end compost. And there's a very active termite colony in here. There's all the, the wings from when they went to flight. And there's a lot of them in there. My concern is that this cavity um, extends all the way out and is creating a weakness on this very large limb. The back side over here and where this is attached. So the possibility of this limb failing is very real. Now the base of the tree is uh, also showing a lot of uh, areas where there is wood that's dying back. Um, I don't see any life for as much as a third to 50 percent of the of the trunk of this tree, possibly an old injury, but this is all dried out and this is uh, an area of, of very little life. Over in here we've also got some drying up, some cracking, I can see some insect frass. Um, the tree is right next to the structure so very likely has had some root damage from past construction. I'm a little bit worried about this limb, which goes all the way over the structure, if it were to fail, it could be um, quite damaging. Uh, the client called me out of here because of the uh, uh, decline in foliage. And all the way around, it's showing foliage dieback. So I believe we have a couple of things going on. The number one is the large cavity at the main crotch that's, that's going downhill. And we've got evidence of basal crown rot, and without getting in there and digging around, uh, I'm guessing, but I think that as much as 50% of the trunk of this tree is currently compromised, may have some rot. Um, so I, I, I think we have a situation here where this tree needs to be removed.